Alright. So now to get the wiring done for the mast. It's, most of it's pretty straightforward, like the there's not that much up there, you know. Wind instruments and the uh, lights. Two VHF antennas. I think that's that. Uh, and then neat because I made a bit of a mess in here <laughs> when I ripped it out. Had to detach all this. Uh, this is the loom coming from the mast. So when I had to detach all of this, I sort of wished I'd labelled things. But like I said, there's not that much here. So. But we just come out of the marina today and anchoring now for a few days while we do our jobs get everything ready for sailing again. And the first job, I guess, should be to turn on the anchor light. So that's what we're gonna do. What is it? It's uh, another hour till darkness. So I better pull my finger out, get this anchor light on. cold November day here in Pensacola but finally the sun's out mm -hmm. for the air show <laughs> yeah I mean the air show was yesterday too but it was overcast and shitty day but yeah lovely now <sighs> it's like big crowds of boats here we had a guy last night come and anchor just before dark come and anchor right like I'm talking three meters and I said, are you staying on board? Because we're going to dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back and he's not there. And the boats are almost touching. So yeah. we ended up moving in the 10 o'clock at night in the 20 knots of wind. When in a full anchorage. But we got clear of him. And uh, later I noticed that he seemed to be moving. Or yeah. not moving, he seemed to have moved. He seemed to have dragged and he was side on. And now he's up on the beach. <laughs> I mean, when the tide comes in, he'll he'll get off again. He'll probably get a tow boat to pull him off. But yeah, they were drunk. We heard them come back. They were laughing about being so close to us. Yeah. So don't have much pity at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, he's just over there. Can you see him? Come over there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we are going to go ashore and watch the air display from the beach, the beach where uh, you know we're going to get the best view i mean we had a great view here but just 200 more meters across there and we can see how low these airplanes get across the water yeah. <laughs> all right ready to go mm -hmm. all right let's go
just below the speed of sound. <laughs> you see it was silent when it approached? Yeah. And you could see the, the vapour coming off the back of the shockwave, so it was just before. Because if he did beyond, if he broke the speed of sound, which they can do, all these windows in the building would smash. Yeah. Because it'd be BANG! <laughs> so that's why they don't do it. Because you break everyone's windows. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Hey. Final preparations. Got our rig fixed finally yesterday, just as in finally adjusted, lock wired down, and now I'm happy with it. Um, we'll put the mainsail up today, I reckon, just to make sure it's all sitting well, and I've got to run the reefing lines. Because we're pretty much ready to go, we're going to go downtown shortly and go to customs and get the clearance form. Officially checking out of the US. Mm -hmm. Now we're just really waiting for a weather window. Uh, the wind looks good on Monday, so um, we'll probably head off Monday morning yeah. and be good. The wind is it's all downwind again. Okay. But it's better than the other way. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll just use headsails, you know. Mm. Anyway, we'll see. Wing on wing. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. And should be two and a half, three day passage. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, we are sailing, sort of, we're motor sailing, because we've only got the main up. First time we've had the main up in well, at least four months. It's good to see it all work still. So I put the reefing lines through just now. It's lovely, seven knots of breeze right now, so uh, perfect for that. We've uh, cleared out of customs already. That was quite painless, except for the 30 minute walk each way. Uh, but we need to, believe me, we need to. Yeah, so today is Wednesday and Saturday morning, the weather looks good for us to go. Uh, with downwind all the way to Yucatan, to Isla Mujeres. Isla Mujeres. Isla Mujeres. I think. Yeah. Anyway, the, there's two big jobs. Well, they weren't necessarily big, but there were two jobs I wanted to do before we sailed again, and I didn't get to do them. Um, the luff rope or the the bolt rope here in the luff of the main is broken up the top and I've been able to just pull it down so I bought some new rope this is um, polypropylene I think and it's really weak and apparently it uh, shrinks too which is maybe one reason why it broke so I ended up buying um, I'm not sure what it is, some sort of... No, nah, don't know what it is. I guess it's a polyester braid of some sort for $80 from a sail maker. And I expected I could just, up the top, I could just join the two ropes together with some stitches and then pull it through, the new one. But, like I can pull this down while the mainsail is up and straight, with a straight luff like this. It's easy to pull because the luff is straight. But when it's all curled up in the on the deck, we were trying to do it on the deck yesterday, no way could I pull the rope upwards. So it may be a big job. It may mean taking off all the batten boxes, unstitching the luff tape and re-stitching it on. I'm not sure. Anyway, we decided we're not going to pay for uh, an American to do that. I think I would much rather pay for a Mexican to do that. So we're going to try and find a sail maker down in Mexico to fix up this luff rope. I mean, it was only one year ago we had this done in Martinique for a thousand euro and it's broken. So there's that job I didn't do, and also I didn't make a boom bag. So we've still got Old Faithful here, seven years in, covered in glued on patches because it's just full of holes. Um, so that's another job for us and the sewing machine in Mexico. That's fine. It protects the sail pretty much now. We just have to use a bit of rope to tie over the big holes so that they close up but yes an exciting day we are officially a sailboat again <laughs> the riverboat thing was a good change but I much prefer the sailboat <laughs> Can't speak. Mm -hmm. Can't speak. No. Well, today is an exciting day. One of the most exciting in the last six months. We are getting back into the ocean. We start our passage to Mexico today. So we checked out of uh, the US. Well, we got our clearance papers on Wednesday, Thursday. I think. And now we've just been waiting for the weather to get the right uh, winds and they are here. So we're just going to have some breakfast. We have to change our internet service over. 
with try, still not sure if it's going to work yet. Trying Google Fi. That's a, uh, a phone service that works nicely for international, 200 different countries. Only 22 gigabytes of data for $70 plus tax. But at least it works in 200 different countries. So we're going to try that out. We'll see if it, we're going to activate it right now, just before we leave. And make sure we get internet, and then we leave. And in theory, we'll have internet when we arrive in Mexico. You excited, Mubby? No, really. You're not excited? No. What are you feeling? I want to stay. <laughs> What's wrong, Mubby? Because I love America. I love America. Yeah, it's a good place. Only for the shopping, I reckon. That's what. what? You, you can buy anything you want. You can buy It's here. like China. It's like China, but yeah. times 10 the price. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, uh, we're gonna drop this. Snippy. It's a beautiful winter's day though, but it's only 16 degrees and uh, we've got nearly 20 knots blowing. At the moment we're reaching down the, uh, the bay here at Pensacola and then we're going to hang a left, directly south, directly downwind to Mexico, to Isla Mahuras. I think I said it right that time. I've been practicing for weeks. Yeah, I didn't say it right. Gila Mahares. Gila Mahares is where we're going. New Mexico. Woo! We gotta get south. Either that or we gotta get clothes for sick for winter sailing. This is ridiculous. Freezing. Well. There's the Gulf of Mexico. We are about to turn south and set course for. You say it? What? Isla Mujeres. Isla Mujeres. Isla Mujeres. Yeah. Isla Mujeres. Isla Mujeres. Something Isla? Like. Really? I don't know. No. Must be. Isla. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, uh. I'm about to turn down here, you. Setting course Freezing. for Mexico! <laughs> Setting course to Mexico! <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> Bye Pensacola! Bye America! See you next year! How beautiful is this? Screecher only, doing seven or eight knots. Flat, flat sea. I'm already bored. No, I'm not. This is awesome. Well, I think it's time to say goodbye to America. Let's do it.
Thank you, Lady America, for taking care of us for six months. We enjoyed it immensely. And our bank accounts are halved. Playful than the one in the bay. Yeah. Oh, so cute. Oh, you see their spots? Oh. Wow. Oh. I wish we can keep one. <laughs> oh, they're all playing. Nice. <laughs> wow. Oh, what's that? Just a white patch. Yeah. Something's biting or something. <laughs> you see that? It's so cute. Can we swim? Yeah. Wow. It's 20 degrees, B. I, I'm not getting in that water. <laughs> oh, wow. Because I haven't seen them in the water. I wonder how quick you could be to go and get the um, stick. And the water stick. Yeah. You think? Mm hmm I'll get the other one. So I'm taking over the uh, the dolphin excitement. <laughs> oh, is it so cute? It's so cute. Hello, titties. Hello. such a good feeling to be on the ocean again on on such a beautiful day <laughs> I mean six months in the States been fantastic and it's it's exactly what we wanted to absorb the US get to see as much as we could but sort of always feel trapped I guess because in the rivers the lakes it feels like there's no easy escape you can't just uh, leave the US and even there in Pensacola just to be near the doorway to the ocean felt good that was a great place to stop actually and get the boat ready, provision. But yeah, wow, just to be such a beautiful day, downwind sailing, so comfortable, calm. We only have about 10 knots apparent, so it's just balmy. Forecast looks good all the way to Yucatan.